that's where I'm at. And that's sort of my journey here. Um, but I feel like what you are bringing, I was, th when Carmen sent me, you know, this interview of you, I was like, oh, well, what you're doing is the most important thing, it seems to me right now in the evolution of religion, which is you're bringing, oh, you. yeah, well, you're bringing the people who say, well, I'm spiritual, but not religious. And you're helping them feel at home and helping them know how they're both spiritual and religious. And yeah. that's really powerful. Yeah, and I, my crowd tends to be um, loosely aligned with Jesus following Christianity, whether in their background or in their current life, or sometimes goes from one to the other. Um, however, I don't try to define that for people. It was interesting because someone in my Facebook group the other day said, is there, they basically said, like, is there a litmus test? Is there like a statement of beliefs on here? I was like, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm not in control. I'm not in control of that. I'm not in control of what you believe, nor do I want, nor do I want to be. Um, and, you know, interestingly, I think my Jewish colleagues have been really, really impactful on me. And when we can understand Jesus as a first century Jew. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, really, what kind of Jew? As a first century Jew. Oh, first century. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The world really opens up. And like Christians have been pretty anti-Semitic in the way that we've interpreted the New Testament um, over the millennia. And um, really seeing Jesus as, uh, or the Pharisees and the scribes who are maybe questioning Jesus, seeing those as like genuine questions. Yeah, those rather are than, questions. Yeah, someone trying to trick him. And so, Julia, I really appreciate the um, entering into the, into the big questions, because I think ultimately that's what Jesus actually shows us how to do in the New Testament. It, yeah. should, it should open us up to be more expansive, not less. Right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Coming from the student mind, coming from the questioning space. Yeah. Because that's where love is, and that's where he's coming from. Yeah, that's where love is, and that's where our new insights are. That's yeah. where the interdimensional realities are. Yeah. It's in asking better questions, not coming up with better dogma. Like, yeah. who cares? Yeah, right. Like, exactly who cares? 